people watch it. You know, maybe I should give homework assignments out with these. Like you think about them and then you call up with the topic next week. Wonder if that would work. Let's try that this week. Per- oh, Mike likes it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do it then. I got to shuttle this guy. I got to shuttle this guy. Not that I'm not trying to keep talking about breaking bad. I get it with that when he's like uh I I when uh, Walt it's always like stuck with the other guy. Mike is the other guy for me. He's always getting in trouble. He's always making a mess. I got to clean it up. Come on, you got to spare his life. You got to spare him. It's AP Mike. You got to you got to go easy on him. Yeah. Guys, not yeah. Go easy on him. <laughs> There's got to be some line of work for me and Mike to get into. Dumpster diving. What about that? Like literally, Mike. You and me. I was saying earlier I wanted to get into wearing jumpsuits. This is it. You and me. We take it down. We get down and dirty. Where we don't do storage lockers. Right? We don't go picking like to like some old old uh bat's uh garage and see what he's got like he's got a gas station. First of all, who's buying all these gas station signs? Really? That's like valuable like where? Who wants that junk? Oh look at this old gas station sign. Everybody's gonna flip out for this. I gotta get this guy down, like on American Picks. I gotta get this guy down on this gas station sign. Because I really want it. Why? What are you going to do? Stare. Oh, it says S-O on it. I'm going to stare at it all day. Let's say Shell on it. I got five of them that say S-O. I got three that say Exxon. And I got one that says Shell. I love these old gas station signs. Ugh. Can't wait for that. That, that bubble's going to burst soon. Gas station signs. It's like it's like it's like what what's that going to be 50 years from now? People buying like the the standees from the Apple store window. I got a thing. It's for the iPod 4 it's for the iPhone 4S. It was hanging in the Apple window in two, early 2012. This guy has one of them. I want it. But we're going down and dirty, Mike. Not American pickers, not storage lockers. You and me, dumpsters. Right? Or not even, dump, like, maybe just, like, garbage dumps. Right? What if we just do a show? Now, get, now follow me on this, mic. And when I say follow, realize that neither of us have much going on right now for us. <laughs> realize that we neither of us have much in the plus column right now here's a show i'm gonna pitch i think the title sums it all up staten island garbage rats it's me and you right and we are we go out to to uh the garbage dump on staten island the fresh kills and we root around looking for stuff and we are the staten island garbage rats right Hi, I'm Tom. I'm the head garbage rat. And Mike, hey, look what I, my, I found something. I found, yeah, I found an arm. <laughs> Mike will be like, I found, what'd you find today, Mike? And look, in all seriousness, I'll pull up in the truck at the end of the show. I know I said we don't have much in the plus column. I got a couple more than Mike right now. Mike's going to do the garbage picking in this show. I'll pull the truck up. What you get, Mike? Yeah, I found an old found an old VCR in a head. <laughs> Staten Island garbage rats. And then Mike, you need like a chumley. You need a guy like, and look, you're not dumb at all. I I know I'm playing this thing that you're like dumb. You're not. You're not even slight. You're smarter than me, first of all. 
This guy's better. This guy better taste, better red than anybody. Anybody you, you'll meet. But you need you need your whipping boy. Joe Puppy. Now that's sad. That'll be it'll be the, the episode two. Where's Joe Puppy? Be me and you looking for him with flashlights in the middle of the night. Where's Joe? Joe! Joe! <laughs> but you need a guy who's like your... If on the shows, like the main guy picks on everyone, the number two guy can pick on like like the like the chumley of the show. Who would that be? Who do we get up there for that? I don't know. I got to figure that out. Be you. You yelling at it. Be Mike and this other guy kind of patrolling patrolling the uh, Staten Island dump. We better find something good. Tom's going to be here in 20 minutes. Meat sit. No, I don't want want any of your, your Bayonne guys. You guys will turn on me. I'll find my. I'll find myself. I'll, you guys will leave me at the dump. Staten Island garbage rats. We could sell that tomorrow, right? If I, I'm okay, here's an open thing. I know there's people from TV networks listening. If you are from a network, you're from AMC, Bravo. History, arts and entertainment. What's this? Bravo, history, arts and entertainment, American movie classics. These are the homes of of the worst television you've ever seen. If you want to show Staten Island garbage rats, me, AP Mike, will find a total derelict. Who will like will make Mike and Mike will be like you know you have like the nicknames like like it'll be like Tom like the leader right like the boss Tom the boss and Mike's thing is going to be because he's smart but he'll be like down and dirty with the thing the S House poet S House poet Mike S House poet. Because he'll, like, find books and, like, read them in the dump, right? Like, he'll be like, hey, look, Canterbury Tales. A classic. And he'll start reading it out loud while one of the other guys is, like, digging through, like, just a pile of filth looking for, like, a a bicycle. I think this is a winner. Staten Island Garbage Rats. It is a package deal, me, Mike, and a degenerate to be named later. FMU, you're on the air. Tom? Yes, hi. Hi, Staten Island Garbage Rats. I'm ready to set my DVR ready. Sounds like a great show, right? 